Okay, we're looking at the the brother NQ1700E has a larger embroidery field than the the uh, the P800, P900. So now I'm going to I'm going to zoom in, and uh, I had a comment about an organ. 7511 needle not threading properly in this machine. So what I want to do Okay, this is an organ 7511 So I'm going to thread it Close. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> it's ready to be threaded. Okay, I'm looking at the the Innovus NQ1700E and the auto threader appears that the hook is shortened or broken off here's the hook here where the point is it's laying on the spring, as it should be, but the point is not extended enough that would go through the needle's eye. Compared to the other one on the, uh, the uh, PE900. So I think I'm going to have to replace this, this portion here. This, this piece. I, I have a spare that looks so much like it, it's for the PE-770, uh, which is quite a few years old. But what I'm going to do, have to do is I'm going to have to take this, this um, um, auto threader off. Now, now this auto thread is different uh, than, than the, um, let me see if I can get Get a close up, I can show you what's different about it. <clears throat> this one has has clips. It, it's called a C clip. Right here. They call it a C clip because it looks like a C. It's opened up on one end. You can see the groove where it goes into. That's the groove. And you know, I got to figure out how to push them off. I might have to make up something that will push on this side and push on this side at the same time, and have a space for the um, for the shaft in the middle, so that I could push this as far as possible. So that's what I got to do now. There's two of those, so. And that's my next project, but look, it appears that it's broke, that the, that the hook is short, very short, it should be quite long. I'm looking at the auto threader in a poised position. I have it held down with a rubber band, which I'll show you after this shot, <clears throat> and you see, you see, you see the number six, <clears throat> and here's the needle, comes down, here's the point of the needle, the eye of the needle, 
and and here is the the little hook that comes through the eye of the needle. I'm going to move the hand wheel, wiggle it. Okay. And you can see the the hook that comes through the eye of the needle. It's quite uh, um, impressive. Now the thread, which isn't in there, the thread goes across the a perpendicular. You, you see, you see a spring here. That's a spring, and that 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 goes perpendicular across the needle, back back of the needle. And the hook is resting on that spring. The hook here, the point is right on the hook, and that's resting on the spring, the hook. Now the hook is the hook is a distance away from the the chrome piece here. And there's, all, there's also a chrome piece on this side. It's like a fork. It's like a fork. And the needle goes between the fork and the, the hook for the auto threader is between the two pieces of chrome. It's like a spring, spring type. Now, <clears throat> on my other machine, I believe this is damaged. All right, so I'm going to conclude this portion. And uh, let's see if I can back up without losing too much focus. I'm going to back up. Okay. Now what you're looking at is the PE900. And uh, I have a rubber band. It's a long 8-inch rubber band. Uh, it's doubled around the base, and then singularly it comes up around the around the auto threader, which is up, which is up here. Okay, and I got this held down. All right, for now I'll go to the other machine. This is the PE nine hundred you're looking at. All right, this is the. The bottom of my auto thread eyes, you look in the mirror, and uh, right, here's the auto threader, the eye of the needle, and that is a, a little hook that goes through the eye of the needle. And then the thread goes across, goes perpendicular to the needle. And it catches this hook that's in the eye of the needle right now. Okay, this is Rens Arcuri, my uh, brother NQ1700E is back in service. I had, uh, I had an issue that I discovered and I did not actually know I, I had it because when I shut the machine off the last time, I did a nice... Uh, um, butterfly on a flower 
and uh, turned out beautifully, no problem. But I took the machine out because a nice lady had asked me, does my NQ1700 thread the 7511 needle? And uh, I put the needle in last night and I turned the camera on and lo and behold, it wouldn't thread. Nor will it, will it thread a number 14 needle, which is even has a bigger eye. So I investigated it and my auto threader was defective, believe it or not. And uh, I made I made a video of of the of the defects. Here's, here's the old one I took off, and I replaced it with one of the three that I bought in 2013. I bought them for my PE770, and they're the same. Unbelievable. Well, this this portion, the rest of it's different. You know, they upgraded it. Uh, they um, the auto threader has a uh, what they call a C clip, and uh, it goes around the shaft, and it keeps keeps the whole unit from dropping off. And lo and behold, <clears throat> I took it apart, I took pictures of the pieces, put it back together, uh, put it back into the machine. While I was re uh, replacing the C clip, it popped popped out of my fingers, and I heard it hit the floor. You know, because this floor is a uh, forget what they call it. Uh, you know, it's a synthetic, so it'll make a sound, um, sort of a dull sound, and it. I heard it right. I couldn't find it. I looked for an hour, an hour and a half. So I'm going to have to order one and temporarily I wrapped um, um, twice around that shaft a thin wire, you know, and it went into the groove. I went around twice, made a little knot in it sort of. All right, now I'm going to, don't make a fool out of me machine. I did it five times. There you go. Went right through. First shot. There you go. Okay, I'm happy. Let me do it one more time. You know. Okay, two out of two. Okay, Vince Secure, and I thank you for watching.